This is the reaction between magnesium powder and silver sand, which is mostly silicon dioxide, to make silicon. In the reaction, there are also some interesting and spectacular side reactions. What you use is one gram of silver sand, and this has to be dried overnight in an oven and stored in a desiccator, and one gram of fine magnesium powder. Mix the two together. It's always preferable to mix well to give better contact between the two reactants. Use a spatula to place the mixture inside a Pyrex tube. It's essential that it is a Pyrex tube because the heat of reaction will be so intense that the tube will eventually melt. The mixture is now going to be heated with a roaring Bunsen flame and it's useful if you're doing this in front of an audience to have a safety screen between you and the audience. Use a roaring Bunsen flame to heat the mixture. Start to heat the mixture at one end. The mixture will eventually start to glow. Chase the glow along the mixture. When the reaction really gets going, you'll notice that it is self-sustaining and is very exothermic. A variety of products are forming. The magnesium is reacting with the silicon dioxide to form magnesium oxide and silicon, and that's the reaction we want. But there's also a reaction between magnesium powder and air, forming more magnesium oxide. There's also a side reaction taking place where the magnesium and silicon react to form a compound called magnesium silicide, Mg2Si. It's this that's going to be interesting when we add this mixture to hydrochloric acid as part of the next step. When the reaction's finished, allow the tube to cool. This will take about five minutes. After five or ten minutes, the tube will have cooled, and the next step is to remove some of the things that we don't want that are in amongst the silicon. The mixture in the tube now contains magnesium oxide and magnesium, as well as some magnesium silicide. Pour the contents of the tube into a beaker of two molar hydrochloric acid. You'll also notice small pops. These are often accompanied by yellow flames. These pops are caused by magnesium silicide reacting to form silanes. Silanes are hydrides of silicon analogous to alkanes. Silanes, unlike alkanes, ignite spontaneously in air due mainly to the weakness of the silicon-silicon and silicon-hydrogen bonds compared with their carbon analogues. This is a point that could be discussed with post-16 students. Filter off the solution and the silicon remains on the paper along with a little unreacted sand.